It's Bourbonite. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Sarah? What, what, what's this? This is Four Roses Limited Edition Small Batch 130th Anniversary. And that's a mouthful. Yeah, I think you got all the things. 2018. So. 2018. 2018. Well, the 130th. Well. Will only be. Don't make them do math. <laughs> um, yeah, so Four Roses, uh, LE, as it's known, small batch, barrel strength. I don't think you said that. I didn't. I did miss a thing. Uh, it's 54.27, so that is 108.54? I, I don't know. <laughs> 108, almost 109 proof. Um, and this is a combination of four different recipes, four of their ten. That's right. I can't remember what they are, so I'm gonna look at my phone. So this is a blend of a 10-year OBSV recipe, a 13-year OBSF, a 14-year OESV, and a 16-year uh, OESK. Mmm, OESKs. Mm. Two of those recipes are their high rye, so they're 35% rye, and the other two are their low rye, which is still pretty high rye, at 20% rye. And those are my favorite four roses to drink. Like anytime we get barrel picks or there's a single barrel on the shelf, I always look for the higher rye recipes because mm -hmm. they're just so yummy. Yes. Do you have a favorite um, recipe? I like the V's in the K's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, but um, I tend to shy away from the ones that are more floral, but that's just me. I'm not a very flowery lady. Not not, not floral. Not. No. I think you can attest sweet. to this. Sweet. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. All right. <laughs> let's see how this sucker. It's a big cork. It is. You always get to pop. And you're oh. always like worried that I'm just gonna go off and just because like, one day I'm not whoosh. gonna lean and you are gonna hit me in the face. Not the best cork pop for $140. Kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> I should also say that this is bottle 3,708 of 13,140. Wow. So somewhat limited. Yeah, definitely. More than last year. I think last year was in the tens. I mean, we stood in line for several hours for this. So. Yes. Yes. Mm. Nice pouring sound. Anyway, give that a Thanks 10. Thanks for the comment. 10 out of 10. And, oh, don't get on the signature. No, not the signature. It's also signed by Four Roses Master Stiller and all around best guy in the world, Brent Elliott. He is pretty awesome. Yeah. I love Brent. He's just always smiling. Like, I never see him and I'm like, ooh, Brent looks like Brent's he's in a bad mood. Brent's in a bad mood. mood. <laughs> uh oh. He's just always like, hey guys, what's yeah. going on? All right, so always, I have not met an Ellie mm -hmm. from Four Roses that I have not liked. I second that. Yes. Um, We've had. Elliot Select is one of my favorites. Oh, I love it. So good. Now, that was a single barrel. Yes. It's a small batch. Typically, small batches are kind of like what distillers themselves prefer. Easier to maintain consistency, and, and you can kind of play around. They have 10 recipes to, mm -hmm. to choose from. So, you can blend. Yeah, the ages and the recipes, there's uh, it's like a, it's a big box of uh, He's Crayolas. Like, so many combinations. Yeah, the colors, Duke, the colors. <laughs> I mean, the nose on this, you definitely get those higher rye recipes coming through. Kind of getting that, um, dare I say, kind of like a musty. I think it's more of like a like a clove, but like that's been baked. You know, like cloves in something that's been baked. That's a more romantic way to say it. Not musty. Do but the, I get those do definitely, the old roll. like the fall spices coming through. It is, yeah, there's definitely fall spices in there. It's <sighs> nice, but it's not like, it's not like the Al Young nice. It's not like, you know. I know I can't compare everything to Al Young. You can't, it's not fair. Just when you go up and you smell him. You're just like, <laughs> Don't do that, he doesn't like oh, it. Oh, Al. I've met him and I can tell you that he does not like that. <laughs> Al, you smell so good. They're coming out with the fragrance next year. Yes. It's gonna be great. Parfum de Al. <laughs> okay, that's enough. All right, let's taste this sucker. Oh, but you know what? It's got that flavor reminiscent. Oh, it has so many things. Of the Al Young. When I tasted Al Young, I said, <laughs> it just sounds funny. When I tasted Al Young's <laughs> bourbon, <laughs> after I smelled him. Man, nothing quite feels like <laughs> bourbon going up your nose. <laughs> when I tasted Al Young's bourbon, first thing I said was, it tastes antique. You know, and that one had some, I think some 20 year blended into it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it had some old, old juice in there, but it, you know, it's kind of like, um, the, the, the leather. The the outside. Yeah. The, <laughs> the vintage leathery, bottle. Leathery notes in there. This one I'm kind of getting that just on a lesser scale. But yeah, the spices, I mean, fruit, yeah. dried fruit. And it's like in really Ooh. perfect harmony. There's the spice and this fruit and it just like trails off into this toasted wood. Yeah. It's so 
yummy. Ooh, it's got a nice, yeah, nice long finish. Mm -hmm. Nice long finish. You always go to your second drink because before me. Because you I'm take like so trying long. to let it. He's like formulate must compute. Well, I'm like, how long is this gonna go? What's it gonna go into? And, and it really I'm starts chasing to, the flavors like, that I'm trying to put my finger on. There's bourbon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't criticize you when you say everything's nutty. <laughs> this is not nutty. After drinking it, you know how some things can smell? You can pick up different things mm -hmm. after you have your first. Maybe yeah, that's I'm, why I do it. I'm definitely getting, well, more dried fruit on the nose after having the first sip. And I get a caramel. little cinnamon. Oh. Yeah, cinnamon, caramel. Sure. That's just delightful. But do mm. I like it better than the Elliott Select? <laughs> that's a great question, Sarah. You just want me to go get the <laughs> Elliott Select. I do. Let's I do. just get all the Ellie's that we have. Let's do it right now. All the single barrels. Um, I don't see an issue. Yeah. Oh, maybe on a live episode. Yeah, maybe. We go live on Sundays. Check us out. Mm -hmm. Three o'clock Eastern. Um, no, you're right. It's very well balanced. Mm -hmm. It has this nice uh, heat spice what? that kind of creeps up. It never goes over the threshold. It just like gets to the door mm -hmm. and it's like, I'm just going to stay right here. I'm, getting, I'm like, not going to come in. Yeah, I'm getting a gentle Kentucky hug. Like, yeah. we're pretty, you know, we're friends. We're, yeah. we're, we've passed the acquaintance phase, but like... We're not in a serious relationship. I'm not going to hug you like that. It's definitely not right. a Kentucky strangle. <laughs> <laughs> no. It rings the doorbell, but it doesn't come in. It's like, no, I'm good. More cinnamon now after the second sip, especially in the finish. You know, it's those rye notes really coming through. Mm. And some clove. Mm -hmm. um, this is a good ooh. fall. Good yeah. Fall, oh, right? yeah, absolutely. Came out perfect time of year. Yes. I will be enjoying this. Mm. How many more noises can we make that are happy noises? Uh. <laughs> so the question is, do we have to add water? I think we should. This is what Chad always makes me do, so it's, I'm gonna make him. It's over 100 proof, that's kind of our rule. All right. Let's do it. All right, fine. I suppose we should let this mingle a little bit. Yep. All right. Gonna let this mingle, and we'll be right back after this. Come down to Dan's Discount Carpets. <laughs> Dan's Discount Carpets for all your carpeting and flooring needs. That surprised me. I jumped a little bit. I was like, what the hell? If it ain't Dan's, it ain't worth walking on. Where did that come from? I don't from? know. I thought we should have an ad in there. <laughs> and we're back and we've waited for this to mingle. So let's see what about seven drops of water does to this guy. It definitely brings out the floral notes on the nose, I think. Yeah, now it kind of smells more like a, more of a single barrel four roses that I've been mm -hmm. used to. It's like the floral kind of got turned up a little bit. The spice got turned down just a little bit and it's more, more that thing going on. It's more perfumey. It's more perfumed. Yeah. I mean, the taste is lighter, but I get like caramel up front and more char on the back and I kind of lose those spice notes in the middle that I really liked. Definitely more muted, mm -hmm. but there's something that's also happening more in the very beginning of the palate yeah, that wasn't like happening a, like before. A, like a more caramely uh -huh. poured, a uh -huh. sweeter. Spice little poof But I feel like the it beginning. gets to the finish quicker and everything is a little bit more muted, which I really liked what was going on before, so. I don't know, I think you could convince me to have this, you know, either way. I, I, I think I could convince you to have this. Yes, you could, <laughs> oh, okay. If you Twist insist. your arm. Yeah. Hmm, second sip. I mean, it's still really great, but when it gets to like that oaky part of the finish, I feel like the water lets just a little bit of bitterness creep up. And I don't love that. I like a little bit of bitterness. See, I don't, I, do. I, I do. don't. Okay, well then there you go. Yeah, that's probably why we're kind of split with the water. Mm. I probably would not bother with adding water to it. I think it's just, you know, drink it as- It's lovely Brent on its own. Intended. <laughs> but if you are a one cube of ice kind of person, then it ain't gonna hurt it. So. Sure, make it a big cube. Big, melt slower. <laughs> Chad's like, don't put crushed ice in this, please yeah, God. Just shaved ice, I'm gonna make a... No. Uh, what do they call those? You drink uh, it however you want icy? to. <gasps> a uh, you totally could. Yeah. A slushy? No, it's a... An icy. It's an icy. Shaved ice, shaved ice. Don't do that, no. I just pictured you with Don't one of those little carts driving down the street, ringing the bell, <laughs> and all the kids run up, but you've just got different bourbons. Hey kids, you want over. some Al Young with that? <laughs> yeah. You would never. I would never. So I guess it's that time when we talk about. It is. Um, all right, so obviously this is limited. It mm -hmm. says so on the bottle. So the price is limited to the people who can afford it. Sure. Um, this is $140. 
I feel like they've been going up in years. It has been going up. I feel like I remember yeah. when we did this for like a 120. 120. 140 is tough. But it is tough. I've had a lot of stuff for about that price that I didn't like as much. So I'd rather have this, but the thing is, is you're not going to be able to walk in and find it. So it's true. It's kind of one of those things. <sighs> I can already predict some people in the comments are going to say, I can get a Four Roses pick single barrel from XYZ store that tastes amazing and it only costs me $60. And I think you should do that. Yeah, we're not gonna discourage that. You do that all day long. This is kind of a thing, if you want what the master distiller has decided to blend of these particular years to make this limited edition, is that worth the money for you? Mm -hmm. And. It being, like if you're not normally a, a person who goes after the LEs when they come out each year, it being the 130th, maybe that sways you a little bit, the collector in you, maybe it doesn't. If you don't want to chase it, then fine. There's not that many of them anyways. Yeah, I remember but, having the 120 or 125? 125. 125. You were talking about that. Yeah, it was at a Lexington Bourbon Society function around Christmas. <laughs> Those guys are the best. They are. And it, it was up against like Pappy 15 and uh, uh, an H dated turkey and, and this and that. It. And I like, I think I liked it the most. Wow. It was rather good. Well, that's a statement, Chad. I it feel like statement. you just gave this a hard recommend. Well, this is 130. This it's is true. a different expression. That's true. But um, I, I had really high hopes for that. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, he's really going to turn it up for this one being the 130. Yeah. And I think it is, although I will need to try it blind against the others. I would still give it a recommend. I know it's tough. I also would give it a recommend. I mean, like we said, consolation prize, you can't get this, you don't want to pay $140. Great, go ahead, figure out, like, look those recipes up, get you a single barrel pick or something from your local liquor store that matches that recipe and be happy going about your day only spending $60. But if yeah. you can try this, Good I luck would... with like that, what was it, 16 year? <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. But some of the other ones are actually attainable. You could do sure. it. So, yeah, it'd be tough, but. That's what I would say if you're not ready to pull the trigger. Right. But if you could try this, I would highly recommend it. So. Absolutely. All right. Well, very good. Um, guys, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Helps out the channel a lot. You can get that bell notification to know when we put out our bi-weekly bi videos. Why do I, hate I always you say, say that? that. Bi-weekly videos. <laughs> Woo. Uh, you can follow us on all of them social medias at It's Bourbon Night. What else, Sarah? Uh, you can look on our Amazon influencer page, amazon.com slash shop slash It's Bourbon Night, and get glassware and books and candles and all the fun things you need for your own even, bourbon night. Even drying racks. I feel like I just said set the mood for your own. Your, set your mood. For, so your we have candles night. and scented oils on there as well. No, no, no. no. Uh, and then lastly, not that, kind of <laughs> not, that, not that kind of bourbon night. And lastly, you can become one of our patrons if you like at patreon.com slash it's bourbon. I'm having trouble here. Um, and you can check out the different levels. You can join in on the conversation. Uh, vote on some polls. Vote on some polls and, and all that goodness. Tell there. us how much you love us. Uh, and then we'll tell you how much we love you. That's true. All right. Well, um, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. <laughs> and until next time, drink more bourbon. I don't know if this means anything, but it gets more around like my gums than like my tongue. I feel like you're trying to describe a dream to me and ask me what it means, and I have no <laughs> idea.